So, we're finally in the March and the rivers have opened again. So this will probably be the last stocky bashing fly you'll see for a couple of months. But it's certainly one that works and this is the dog biscuit or the pellet fly. So in the vise is a Camazan B160 size 8. I also use these for blobs. <coughs> the thread we're using is Uni Fire Orings 8 First thing you want to do is take some thread wraps and I'm going to go between the barb and the point for this. You don't need to be mad tidy with these. At the end of the day they're going to be for stocked fish. Get a few fish and if it falls apart, oh well. So deer her straight off the patch. I've got a big patch here. So you want to take, cut it close to the skin, pull away the loose at the base, the loose fluffy sort of material and then cut it so you've cut away the fine points. You'll be left with a wee bunch. So you want to catch this in with a loose turn in the middle. Take a loose wrap right round, start to tighten down on it. And then with the next turn I just let it spin. As I say, this is not the most perfect way to spin deer hair. But there's no need to be super tidy with these. Rough and ready, they'll do the trick. Especially anywhere that's stocked quite heavily on fresh stocked fish. These can work really well even when fish aren't rising. They'll come up for these. So just spin that on. As I say, no need to be too tidy. Just continue that up. Usually about three bunches is all I need. I'm sure if you want it, you could tie these a bit tidier, but I don't waste much time on them, to tell you the truth. So once we get to here, I'm going to hold my finger at the back, compress it together slightly. That'll give me a bit of room for a head. I'm going to pull all this back and come in here try and get a, a small head build up. This can be fittery, this part. But again, don't worry about it. It's not a show fly. It's just a fly that's going to catch fish. Even if you can call it a fly. So, at this point, I would put some varnish on. And then whip finish, but I'll skip out the varnish part just for now. I'll varnish this one afterwards. There we go. Four to five turns. Trim this off. So, next thing you need is a packet of Wilkinson Sword double sided razor blades. <coughs> this is one here. You can get these in most paper shops, Tesco, Asda, should all do them. So what you want to do is, now take this out of the vise, hold it upside down, like so, and we're going to come in with a razor blade and trim under the shank back to the hook. Just be careful here because these are very sharp, these razor blades. You want to get a good clean cut. Clean off all this fluffy stuff. And then once I've got a good clean cut underneath it, I'll start to trim it with a scissors. I don't know if you can really see that, but I'll come back in a split second and kind of put this in a dram peg, like so. And then I'm going to start to trim it up, roughly the shape of a blob. That's what I aim for. So I'll be back in a second and we'll give you a look once I've got it trimmed up. So. I've got it trimmed up now. <coughs> As I said, I aim for roughly the shape of a blob. You don't need to be too particular about these. That's what the fish is going to see. Throw it in when there's a bit of a rise or if there's plenty of stock fish and they should come up for this. 
So give that a go and let me know how you get on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends and let me know how you get on. Tight lines.